fool with a plan can beat a genius with no plan. In 10 years, we can reduce our dependence. We are going to be energy independent. This week, the House of Representatives is moving ahead on historic legislation that will transform the way we produce and use energy in America. President Obama is leading an effort that really, I think, Boone Pickens helped generate the support for. I'm in touch with millions of people, and that'll be the first thing they'll say. we got to get off of foreign oil. And it's the same thing now they say to me in Washington. The reason energy is going to rise to the top of the agenda is because it cuts across so many of the problems that the president is facing, from Pakistan to the Middle East to the car companies to almost everything we do. If they come through with a bill that incents, one, natural gas, but two, wind and solar, what will happen, that will send a message. The Energy Summit was put together and the majority leader, Senator Reed from Nevada, was the author of that. And he brought Tim Worth in, who was former senator from Colorado, as the moderator. And then he invited 28 people around the table. President Clinton was there, Vice President Gore, Speaker Pelosi, Secretary of Energy Chu, Secretary of Interior Salazar. This event that we have today has been designed primarily by the Center for American Progress uh, and a number of allies, particularly Senator Harry Reid and uh, Mr. Boone Pickens. And in order to leave the world, we have to, to uh, restore the momentum and the, the can-do uh, spirit uh, that uh, Boone Pickens exemplifies this. Let's, let's go and let's, let's do this. Boone Pickens and I were talking on the way down here about how one of the best things that's happened in the last couple of months of these two, these miserable last four or five months is that this coalition has held together and intensified its conviction. We need a fresh approach. We need a plan, as my friend Mr. Pickens says, and that's why we're here to talk about that. A leader in the House is Ed Markey from Massachusetts, and Ed made an unusual statement. And this is a statement I thought I'd never make, that... I can end my statement by saying, I agree with everything that Boone Pickens said. And I never thought I'd say that. This is the way to solve the problem. Right now, we saw what happened in Iran over the last few weeks. That's a regime, a hideous regime, fueled by oil. Uh, we look at what Venezuela is doing to destabilize friends of America and democracies throughout Latin America. Hugo Chavez is uh, paid for by Americans' over-reliance on oil. That guy, he calls us everything but a woodchuck. You know, he is uh, he's really just vocal and vile in his remarks. And then we get off from the Mideast, we get off from Africa. Well, some of those are pretty unstable. There's no question in my mind that the oil that we buy from the Mideast, we're paying for both sides of the war. I know a number of people would have thought this is the most unlikely pair that you would ever find. Nothing like a crisis to get two people who disagree on everything to find an agreement and try to come together. He's been associated with conservative causes over a course of time, and I think the nonpartisan way in which he approached this problem and the fact that he reached out across the political spectrum just say, look, I'm an American. I want to get something done. I gave to the Obama transmission team a plan for 350,000 18 wheelers. You would incent the truckers that bought those 65,000 each, which is the incremental difference between diesel and natural gas. It would reduce dependency on foreign diesel by about 4%, create 450,000 jobs. House Bill 1835 was brought on by Boren, Larson, and Sullivan, and they took out 350,000, leaving it open-ended to do as many of those as you wanted to which is good. Recently, it, this issue has come to cross-party lines, mostly because the people who are the environmentalists, the goo-goo tree-huggers, aren't going to be the ones that are going to actually bring this to solution. It's going to be the uh, Republicans and the more conservative ones who now see it as a national security issue. Our national interest, our national security, our economic growth all hinge on our being able to stop 
importing these massive amounts of foreign oil from unfriendly countries. And the only way to do it is to get there with energy independence. Boone's fighting the fight. I'm there with you, Boone, and we're going to get there. I've often used the term vertical politics. And for me, that means that politics in its best form is neither left nor right, liberal or conservative, Democrat or Republican. It's up or down. Things get better, they get worse. And as it relates to energy policy, we need to be talking about this in a vertical way. What really makes America a better country, a stronger country, not simply what makes us more to the left or more to the right. This legislation will spark a clean energy transformation that will reduce our dependence on foreign oil and confront the carbon pollution that threatens our planet. We have a choice. It's simple. We can either take American dollars and invest them here at home or continue to blindly go forward investing dollars abroad in nations that are using that our dollars to work against us. We can't afford to do that. We need to invest in America. That's why I support T. Boone's plan. We have a lot of special interests trying to influence the debate on energy, and that's okay. We need to listen to everybody, and we've done that, and we'll continue to do that. The bill that has been marked up in the House is certainly a start, a good, good start in the right direction. What Boone's really trying to do, again, is to build a group of people who are committed, who want to see change across the political spectrum, bring them together as one community of Americans to say it's time to change and it's time to create security. That's the patriotic thing to do. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, that'll create a, both a cleaner environment, a better economy, and more security for our children.